Good, good morning. Good morning. You are on here. Hello, hello. It's morning time where we are. It's Friday and I am wanting to finish my chairs before I head out and start a new day. So I thought before I get any farther, I've done seven chairs. It takes me 45 minutes to paint one coat per chair. So I spent the day, what day, it doesn't matter. I spent the day painting chairs one day this week and um, then I left one for you guys. So because I was kind of, I don't know, just always busy and we're back to painting a lot and um, I had a real estate closing and just all kinds of stuff happening. So hadn't been able to get back on to finish my last chair. So last night I, um, flipped it over and did everything I could do on the one side. And I thought I would save this side for you guys. Oh, Angie, <laughs> good morning. Painting chairs is a nightmare, but I love how these turned out. So let me, let me just show you why I didn't love these chairs, but I totally agree. Chairs are like the worst. And there's a little guy, his name's Andy and, and uh, Donna Dotson found him. Um, Andy's chairs, it's called. And um, he loves painting chairs, it's his thing. Good morning, Lucretia. So, so here, uh, here is my dining room chairs. Now, obviously they're dated, they're oak. I've had them for, I don't think we were married, um, but we've been married like 30 some years. So I'm gonna say, let's just say we've had these chairs for 30 years. Try dusting all of these little, and you can see the dust in the dark wood, You can because it's darker in the cuts. So I'm always trying to keep the dust out of all of these holes, number one. Then you have to dust can you see? I can't see because of the, um, good morning, Janice. Thank you. Hi, Emma. So you have to clean, you know, around all of the things, right? And I mean, it takes forever to dust these chairs times eight, right? And I'm just, I'm so, I hate them. I hate them, but the table works great. It's one that hides the leaves. You know, you crank it out and the leaves go inside and it's just always been nice and to replace it would be a big deal. So um, it with our wood floor and the wood steps and the wood, just uh, just too much wood. So I decided to paint it. Waited till my husband was out of town, of course. <laughs> and he likes the other table. He never liked this one. So I knew it would be okay. But, you know, to say, honey, can I paint the table? He would say no. So I just did it. So anyway. All right. So what I'm doing, I'm using our country chic paint. I want you to see the end. If you don't, if you don't want to stick with me, jump off and make sure you check back when I'm all done. I want you to see the end, what we came up with. My friend Beth was over here. Um, I don't even know when, but we were talking about how much I hated these chairs, how I wanted to paint them and blah, blah, blah. And um, anyway, through the two of us just creatively thinking together, you know, you come up with an idea and then that idea grows. And then, and so it's kind of gotten to where I love my chairs now. They're very shabby chic. Um, they're, they're just really different. You have to wait and see what I do. So first thing is, if you remember how, let me see, I'm getting message, I'm getting comments, but let me wait and I'll, I'll do the comments when I'm all done here, okay? So let's just keep going and then, and then if you wanna stick around and chat, I'll do the comments later. I'm not ignoring you, just, I know some people want you to just get on with it, right? So, <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. So what I've done, I'm using my Country Chic, um, chalk base paint. If you guys need any paints, you know I'm uh, loaded with them and I love them. And I'm using a styrofoam meat tray and it's been, I've used it for days so it's very uh, full and crackled and whatever. And my light, I'm trying to get the best light. I messed with my lights for like 20 minutes before I came on here. I thought I had it good, but oh well. Anyway, so I poured a pile of Tammy Loves Beige. It's a color called Tammy Loves Beige. Let me get up here. There, you can see it now. And then I've got a color of just white called Simplicity. I'm using a yucky cheap chip brush, okay? When you're painting with chalk paint, you want to use a really quality brush and you, you know, you brush it on. But in this instance, I want a really frayed out, tired, look how tired that brush is. I've used it on all of these chairs and it was right out to start with. But anyway, so I'm going to dip in part into the white, oh gee, part into the white and part into the dark. And then I'm just gonna play with it here on the plate. Okay, oh, the, my lighting is terrible. Let me, um, yes, check back, Patricia. Okay, 
I thought maybe if I went down, the light wouldn't be so strong here. Okay, and then you just dap like that. And then, okay, I'll do this what you guys can see. And then I just go in here like this. I'm just tap, tap, tapping like that. Okay, just like I did my fireplace mantle. But what I'm doing is using two colors to make the chair a little bit more interesting. Whoops, there's a spot. I did have to second coat not like cover the whole entire thing, but just in places it was a little thin. Um, so, okay, let me raise you back up here. Now I did, I sanded, I just sanded. And when you guys, when I tell you guys to sand, this is all you need to do. Just scratch it up a little bit, okay? And then you wanna wipe the dust off. So I don't mean sand the varnish, off, like sand it clear down to nothing. Um, if you have really old chairs and you're getting a bleed through, you'll need to use a shellac to seal it. Um, but if you're using chalk-based paint, you won't need to prime. Um, and I mean, unless they're really dirty or questionable, but you should be fine to just go at it with your paint. Um, and so, uh, let's see here. Let me, let me do, what, what can you guys see? Let me raise you up here a little bit. Okay. So, all right, that's close enough. So in the center here, I'm going to be covering this up because I know that having it painted, all of the holes will be easier to keep clean. The dust won't show up so much in the in all of these holes. But I just, I'm sick of the design. It's just too much. And let me, sh let me show you something else before this thing gets all totally wet. I hate this part. Like, like, look. See all of the spindle? Like, there's just so much happening. And there's so much to clean. Like, I hate... I just hate, I wish I could take these two out. That's where we started, Beth and I. I wish we could take these two out and fill these holes before I paint for the back two. And then we come up with another idea that was easier. <laughs> so, so stay tuned or come back. Come back if you want to. Hi, Sarah. Good morning. Okay, so just gonna tap, tap, all right? Tap, tapping, tap, tapping getting in all of the edges. I I painted some of this last night on the back, so that's why you see some paint on here, but I thought I would save some to show you guys. So I'm back into my paint here. Uh, can you see? Yeah. So dipping into the light, dipping into the dark, and then patting it together a little bit, and then go right at it on the chair. Tap, tap, tapping. Now I will tell you, that as it dries, the paint levels out a bit, so it's not too textury. But at the same time, I did sand um, after my first coat, after my second coat, and then I only waxed the seats. I didn't really, in the, oh, I, ra I waxed this outside bar that I knew we would be grabbing when we pulled the chairs in and out. So that was all I waxed. Um, with this, you don't, you don't have to wax. It's a little bit on the flat side if you don't wax, but you don't have to. It's an all-in-one, it's got clay and minerals, and oh, whoops, you're shaking. How bad is that for you guys shaking? I better not get too carried away here. Oh, but how can I not? Oh, okay, all right, I won't do that part because I'm really shaking. Let's stay on the bottom. So, um, let me see here, if I tip it up, can you see the dark and the light path I'm getting? Um, it's, it's dark over here and light over here. So every once in a while, I'll like spin my brush. See how I did that? I spin my brush a little bit. And you're just really just tap tapping, okay? I did this on my mantle, you guys were watching, but I think it was probably hard to see. So I thought this big flat surface would be good for you guys to see. But so the overall color will be the mix of the white and the Tammy Loves Beige. But um, so it comes out about a cheesecake color, I would call it. Um, we have a color called cheesecake and it's very close to that. But what I like is it has what we call highlights and lowlights. So it's got a little bit of the dark and a little bit of the light in here. And so it gives it some interest. Um, we, this started out as a wall treatment that we do with a big wool pad. Um, and we love it. I've got it all over my house. We still do it all the time. Um, people I painted for years ago are like, oh, you know, is this still in style? But I, we still use it a lot. I love it. I still love it. I don't know if I'll ever get tired of it. Um, but anyway, so just tap tapping. And so I don't know if the camera shows, but every, where the brush is so, um, I mean, it's not a super soft bristled brush. So where it kind of scratches into the paint, I, can't, I hate the word scratches, but 
kind of leaves little lines when it dries that's what needs the second coat so you could get away because it's so consistent you could get away with one coat and believe me i totally considered it i thought about it but the reason i didn't is because as a painter i know it wasn't second coated and i think it would bug me um so if you if you it's very consistent so if you love it just like it is because it leaves just that little bit of dark little lines very consistent I, I can see it here, but I'm not sure you guys will be able to see it on the camera. Um, and as it dries, it will get better. It will, it'll get more defined. Um, but so after you do this, you wanna sand it and then do it again. Um, and, and so let me take this down and I wanna show you guys what I did. I, don't, I should have planned that out too. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just continuing the whole entire chair. And I know you guys are probably thinking, you've done seven chairs and you didn't even show us? But, you know, I was just on a roll. You know, you get on a, you get going and then it's like, oh, I hate to stop and set up a video and all that stuff, but I saved you one. So that worked out great. So what I'm doing then, after, so I'm gonna show you on another chair, which is just about done, but, okay, and you know my famous muslin shreds, right? You know how much I love the shreds. So I take a big roll of muslin and I'm cutting about an inch, maybe an inch and a half even, and I'm ripping it, okay? So you just cut a little teeny slice and then I'm ripping, okay? Now you guys, I'm sure the detectives that you are know where I'm going with this, but I'm still gonna show you because it's cool. All right, so let me throw this out of the way. I'm done with this one. Okay, then um, sometimes you get strings. When you tear up sheets, you get a lot of strings. This isn't too terribly stringy. I've only got one, it looks like. So let me get rid of the string here. Okay, so there's my string. Then what I'm going to do is cut it into lengths. And boy, I didn't measure because it doesn't really, it's not really gonna matter to you guys how long mine are because I have that, I have those spindles and they get fat at the bottom and they get skinny at the top. So the, so the length is gonna vary from what you might have in your chairs but this length seemed to work really good for me. So I just cut a bunch of links, whatever this is. If you need to know, message me and I'll, I'll tell you, but um, let's see, it's from the tip of my finger, whoops, I didn't get that cut, past my elbow, I can tell you that. So it goes past my elbow a good bit. So that's, I mean, it's, they're not perfect, but so you cut your strip into strips. You cut your long strip into shorter strips, right? Okay. Then what I did, wait till you see this. What I did was I wrapped, I wrapped around the, the, um, oh, that's got a pucker in it. Well, I'll just fix that and I'll just show you what I do. I wrap the muslin around like this. Okay. And then I tie a knot and wait till you see how cool it looks over here. Cause it looks super Super deep duper back here. <laughs> Anybody remember that? Super deep duper. <laughs> okay. So then, so then it kind of made a padded thing here. Okay. So and then let me show you the back. So this is what it looks like in the back. And I absolutely, I absolutely love it. Right? It's so so cute, especially when they're all lined up together and you look in and you see the backs of the chairs. Right? It's super cute. So, all right, let me, let me, I need to open this up and get you up because I need you to see the top. Um, okay, nope, hang on. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why I'm out of breath. Okay, so at the very top, I have this little gap here where it arches and I can't get my, I can't get my ties up there, right? And it really bugged me from this side. Okay, see that? You totally see that that bugs me okay so let me show you what I did to fix it I can't reach um all right hang on a minute <laughs> I didn't plan this out very good let me I'm so excited to show you guys so okay okay there you go that was that was much smarter <laughs> oh man okay so I'll get you down to here all right so now let me grab I had a few of these ties already cut I'm using two ties 
of the long ones, the long length of the, um, the long length of the muslin. And I don't know, I buy it by the bolt, so I don't, I don't think it's a whole bolt length, but I don't know, I didn't measure. Um, honestly, you know, everyone's chair backs are gonna be different, like everybody's is different. So here's one and here's two. So I took two, okay, and instead of hanging this from the back, which is just going to give me more of what I've already got, I tried to close my curtain here. It's really not as bright as it looks like it is. Um, okay, so this is two different links, so let me snip that off. Okay, so what I did was then instead of, since I have all of this pretty hanging down back here, I didn't need it back here and I didn't want to cover it up. So what I did was I came in here and here and put this thickness up here at the top. We'll come back, well, let me just show you. Let me get this straight here. All right, and then, well, I'll come back to that. Okay, because there's something else over there. Okay, <laughs> so then I just tie a bow. So what it does is it makes it pretty, I should have I showed you, but it makes it prettier from the front and the back. So <clears throat> when I look at my chairs, they're pretty on both sides. Now, you can lean back on this bow and it's not gonna hurt a thing. And most of the time when you're sitting in it, you're sitting up, not leaning clear back up here anyway. So it really doesn't hurt anything at all. Um, but this is what I came up with. And then I take my ties at the very bottom. I don't want them dragging on the chair. I'm cutting my loops. I only grabbed the worst scissors in the house. And then I'm just kind of evening them up roughly, rough, rough, roughly, okay? There you go. So they're hanging, they're hanging about to the bottom, but not quite, all right? So then that makes it pretty from the front and from the back. And then what I did was I took a tie and because I didn't like this being straight here, not sure you guys can, see that but you can imagine it's straight i went in here and i added one more little knot so that it matched all the way up and i did double knot these just because i didn't want to mess with them uh, coming undone and then i just cut them to the same length as the rest and then you don't even notice that it's different so there are my <laughs> there are my is what my chair makeover is going to be. I'll be posting all of the pictures, all of the befores and afters here in a little bit. Um, I, d I never take the time to blog because I just have so much going on. I think blogging takes a lot of time, but I thought I would share it with you guys. So you love it, Lori. Oh, great, and I remembered my glasses. So that's all I have. Um, I just thought I would show you guys. Be looking for my post with the finished pictures. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you so much. That's so nice. I never get hearts. I do, but not very many. <laughs> not like that. So thank you. You like it. Thank you so much. So all right, I'm just gonna read through. I have my diva light gonna show up here. Um, golly, thank you. You really like it. So you guys must have crappy chairs like. That's the only thing I can think is you guys have yucky chairs. <laughs> so, um, yes, Angie, hate painting chairs. There's Barbara. Good morning. So if you guys want to jump off, this is all I'm going to do is read your questions and your comments, and then I'm going to jump off. And then um, as soon as, well, I've got to go to work, but as soon as I get home, I'll do it. I'm going to finish this chair now, get to work. When I come home, it'll, it'll be dry. I'll give it another coat. And then we will, um, I'll post all of the pictures. So I've got to clean all the paint stuff off of my table and stuff. But, and then I did paint the table last night. Just, I was just, I don't know. I was waiting on my chair to dry and I sat down, and just started painting, but I didn't do the top. I'm going to save the top for you guys. I have like three or four ideas. I just can't decide exactly what I want to do with the top. So, um, you'll see it with just a wood top, which looks actually looks fine, but I need to do something with the top too. So, all right. Good morning, Barbara. Thanks you guys for watching. It's so nice of you. Um, hello, Lucretia. Yes, it is worth it in the end, Angie. I hope you stayed around to see the end of it, how they turned out. Hey, Emma. Hey, Janice. Oh, there's Tammy Graves. All my painting friends are on here. That's awesome. Hi, Tammy. 
Um, got your paint. Oh, Tina, good. Oh, you're gonna love our paint. I think you'll be really happy with it. Yep, but now you gotta get to work. Uh, okay, chairs are the worst. I have this sponge, yes, and I do use that for the spindles. You're right, ours is, ours is kind of round and it has a carved area that makes it really easy to grab. If anybody needs a sponge, let me know. But um, yeah, I, I just I hate painting spindles anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, good morning, Julie. Hello, hello. Patricia's gonna check back. The light's good? Well, good, Janice. That's great. That's that's big for me, right? Um, good morning, Tia. Oh my gosh, thank you for sprinkling. That's like the best, best. Um, that lets all the people find me that might wanna watch. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Uh, good morning, Vicki. There's Sarah, another painting friend. Nice to see you, Karen. Uh, what is wax? Jerry. So I have some right over here. Let me go get it and I'll show you. Um, every company's wax is a little different, um, but different, but the same, does the same thing. So our wax is just a, uh, it's just a natural wax and we use a brush. Uh, you want a real, um, dense kind of, oh God dense kind of hard bristled brush and you uh put your oh, that's so annoying with the light um you just i'm not going to do it now because my paint's too wet and i need a second coat but you dip it in and then it's real thick it's like a paste wax sort of this what exactly like you're waxing a car when i have people come in that's what i usually tell them it's like you put it on and the idea is to get it covered. You don't want too much on there. You just need to get an even coat, but you don't want to pile a whole bunch on there because you gotta get it off. So you take a rag then and you and you wipe it off, and that um, makes it takes it from being chalky to being a little more eggshell satin sort of. Um, so it's not so dry and thirsty. So um, it's it's not really a protectant so much as it's easier to to wipe and all that. It's not flat anymore. Um, let me see, you wanna paint your fireplace hearth? Yes, good, good Anita. It's so, it's really easy and forgiving and fun to do. So yes, make sure you take before and after pictures so you can show all your friends and show me. <laughs> uh, hey Deborah, and you know you can paint your tile, like you can paint your slate hearth. We do that all the time for people. Um, so yeah, just make sure you clean it, sand it, and when I say sand it, you're just kind of microscopically scratching it up. Um, I use a medium grit sanding block and you just kind of want some scratches so that your primer sticks. So that's the whole idea. Good morning, Maureen. Uh, yes, you did say, hey Tammy, it does. It looks just like a corset. I love it. Uh, it does look like a tied corset. You guys are so right. Love it. So cute. Thank you, Jean. Thanks. Thank you, Lori. Thanks, Deborah. I'm straining. I got my glasses right here. Why am I straining? <laughs> Good morning, Marie. Maureen. I'm saying your name wrong, aren't I? I'm calling you like a soldier, like a Marine. <laughs> hey, Emma. Thank you. You're gonna do it. Good, Janice. Right, I'm so sick of dusting around spindles. This just is gonna make my cleaning so easy. I'm just gonna swipe. Why don't we, I mean, if we sit here, I don't have to swipe the seats. I'm done cleaning. I don't have to clean anymore. <laughs> oh, my mom, if she's listening, she would believe that's true. <laughs> you love it, Sharon. Thank you. Thanks, Rhonda. Thinking about painting your dining room furniture, but not sure what kind of paint to use. Okay, Pam. If it's your dining room that you don't use very often, you know, chalk paste paint is very forgiving. Um, let me show you a couple of tricks. Uh, yeah, I can show you. All right, let me show you a couple of things here. This is why when the people jump off, they miss all this good stuff sometimes. My rag's not very wet. I sure wish it was wetter, but we'll see. It's just damp. Let me see if I can get you closer so you guys can see. The beauty of using the chalk base paint, Pam, is that it's very um, work withable. You can do things with it. Like you can take, like after I have it painted, however you want to paint it, then you can take a sanding block and can you see that? Let me move, move the comments over here without losing my place where I was. Yeah, you can see that. See how that just, it just comes right off. Right, and then if you're like, oh, I did too much, or oh, I don't love it, um, that's called distressing. You just 
paint right back over it and it's gone. So you can play with it, don't be afraid. But if the, the sanding dust is too much, you can get the exact same effect by using a wet rag. And I recommend using the wet rag, like see that? It does the same exact thing. I recommend using the wet rag when you want to distress, like oh, my seat's too wet, but let's say, let's say that, can you see this? Let's see, how can I do this? <laughs> okay, I'll try to do this here. So if you, if you use a sanding block and you're trying to break down, I don't know if I've waxed this one or not, but, um, and you're trying to break down in the middle. Okay, oh, I can't show you. My table's gonna wiggle too much. But um, you can totally break it down. And it, this is more true with dark colors than light colors. See the paint gathering up? And so I'm distressing this. You guys are probably thinking, that chair's done, what's she doing? But I just wanna show you, it's, it's so forgiving. It's only paint, you guys, you can't mess it up. So see how this is um, showing through? So it's kind of a distress mark. But if you could be here to feel, I'm not sure you can see, see yeah you can kind of see there's a ring around it where I've almost burnished it or shined it and I don't like that and especially with a dark color you get almost three looks you get the you get your overall then you get this little ring about around what you're trying to accomplish there so if you take a wet rag and you do the same thing and it takes a little bit more muscle it takes a really wet rag and um I was going to show you how it's, I can just feel it cutting through you can feel it and I don't have a very wet rag but you do the same exact thing I wish my rag was wetter it's building up see it's it's coming um, but there you go there now it's breaking through and then when it dries you get the very same thing but you don't have that ring around it it's just a nice breakthrough and so if you want to distress like your tabletop or something and you and you want to go from what's underneath maybe you have your table Maybe it's a black table and you're tired of it black, but you don't want to paint your black chairs. You could paint your tabletop, whatever you want, and then rub some of this like all over, and that exposes that black paint. It exposes what's ever underneath. Then if that's not the look you want, then of course you can add on top, which is what I'm going to be doing with my table. I'm going to be layering on top. So then now that I've done this, I'm like this, I love this, but it's just not what I'm going for right now. I'm saving this for when I'm sick of my chairs. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to do around the edges and I'll do this kind of thing, but I'm going to wait until I'm tired of them. So, cause it's easy to do. So then to fix it, you just go back in I'm using my double colors here, using black or black, using Tammy loves beige and white. Um, I like this color so much. They let me, um, mix it and label it actually in my, in my name. So that's kind of cool. So going back in here, because people were coming in, it's like, what's that color that Tammy likes so much? It was actually, it used to be eggnog. It was the color eggnog and they discontinued it because they're always changing colors. Well, not always, but, but oftentimes they're tweaking. So um, that was a way for me to keep the eggnog by calling it my own. So <laughs> nice of them to let me do that, but it's called Country Chic. <coughs> any chalk paint works great okay so let's talk just a little bit more now this this is where yes I sell chalk paint yes I love chalk paint but as a person that's painted houses for 25 years and someone that I got your back right I got your back so um uh let's see who it Pam it was Pam all right Pam so that's the pluses about using chalk based paints um, you can also put a clear coat over them and make them very sealable, but then you're doing, you know, you skip the primer coat. Most times you can skip the primer coat. Um, if it's really antique -y and it's bleeding, you know, then you'll need to um, use the shellac or just message me and I'll go through all that if that's your case. Um, but so if it's something you're going to use a lot, like this dining room table, uh, I use it for crafting more than eating. We eat it at twice a year. So I've got paint splattered and glue piles up on it and this is more my crafting space. So um, it's kind of, it does get abused, but I don't care because I paint and I like to change things. So I'm probably gonna go with the chalk based paint so that I can play around with it. Um, another option you would have when clients want me to paint um, things like the kitchen table that you use every day and you've got little kids with buckles on their shoes and all the things 
I use Sherwin Williams, write this down, Sherwin Williams Pro Classic Semi Gloss. That's what we use for trim paint, doors, and really abused furniture. Um, if someone wants to know that they want a shiny finish, that I'm gonna have to do another layer of, of uh, not a varnish, but like a, we call it tough coat. Um, I don't wanna add another layer, I don't wanna add another coat, another, I wanna say pile of work, but I don't wanna add more work to myself when I could have just used a semi-gloss paint to start with. So hopefully that helps you guys, um, that helps you guys. Uh, so if you wanna, if you have a table, like a table, an end table, uh, like a coffee table or something that you just don't use that much, like a decorative, a side table, side table, that's what I'm looking for, end table, side table. If you have something like that, that you're not using a lot, I would totally chalk paint it, like totally, like totally wow, man, right? <laughs> chalk paint all the way. But if you're if you're doing chairs that at your table that you sit at every day, honest Pete, I tell you, I would clean them, sand them, all purpose print. Look at those hearts, you guys. I'm gonna come on in the morning more often. <laughs> uh, prime them and then um, use the, the Sherwin Williams Semi Gloss Pro Classic all the way. It comes in satin as well if you don't want the semi gloss shine. We usually do trim and doors and kitchen cabinets and all that. And when you say what color, we do white right off the shelf. You can mix any color you want from any company they can match. And I'm not a Sherwin Williams rep. I just I just like that. I love Pittsburgh too. We use Pittsburgh all the time. So um, that's who we have available here. So, okay. Right? Okay. So, all right, you guys. I know you wanted to jump off. J jump off if you want. I'm just going to keep answering questions here. Uh, so cute. Your, head, <laughs> your husband would destroy them. Okay, Dora, you're the one that needs to paint with the Sherwin Williams <laughs> semi gloss. Oh, you got cushions for your chairs. Yes. And he ripped them off and tossed them on the floor. Oh, Dora. Dang, man, Just, doesn't he know he paid for those cushions? <laughs> He's no fun. Okay, Dora, here's the thing. You can make a really cute finish, use stencils or something like that and paint it on your chair seats that look like a cushion and then he, he can't get it off, right? So use, use a paint that he can't destroy like that, get it in two colors, get yourself a cute stencil and there you go. So there you go, message me if you wanna talk more about it, we'll fix him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the hearts, Vicki. I appreciate that. Um, you missed what paint I use. So I'm using Country Chic chalk based paint. We, um, I sell it here. If you scroll back, if you go to my page and you scroll back, there's a post with like all of the colors that I have little sticks for. I have more colors, but I, it takes a long time to paint all the, we laid all those sticks out and we had to paint each stick, let it dry, do a second coat, flip it over, do <laughs> So it was a process, so we didn't do all of the colors, but there's a lot of colors. We're discounting them um, to where, if you, when you guys have shipping, it gets almost back to what the retail price was. So you're kind of getting them for ship for free, um, tax and ship covered. Uh, but message me if you want any colors. I had to wait. I had to order these special shipping hazardous stickers and stuff. So we're all set to ship now. Um, let's see. Yes, you got to get the paint. Yeah, message me if you need some. I got all kinds of friends on here that sell different paints. Oh, I started talking about that. I'm not crazy for the Walmart paints for furniture. I know that, you know, in order to take a can of a little thing of paint like this is $22.99 retail. Um, to take a paint size like this and knock it down to 10 bucks or $15, they just can't put the stuff in that the good that the good stuff carries and I've used it it's thinner um, it works for crafting and it works if you know if you guys just want to paint a quick table you can buy the Walmart chalk paint or the whatever chalk paint it will be fine but if you want a nicer quality you it, you deserve it to yourself to at least try it if you're painting lots of things try it try a better quality paint there's all kinds of there's fusion there's DIY, there's there's ours. There, oh gosh, I shouldn't start naming names because I know there's a bunch. Um, what's the one that Tracy uses? Um, Tracy's fancy. What does she use? She loves it. Uh, oh, I can see it. I can. They're such a nice company. Um, oh, I can't think. Message me if you want to know. It'll hit me after I get off here. Um, but yeah, you should try. Uh, Mary, it's you know it's time consuming. Remember, it took me 45 minutes. I timed it and I did eight chairs and I can. Well, I did seven on the timer and it was 45 minutes. I, there was no shortcutting it, it was 45 minutes. Uh, when I buy the muslin, um, there are weights, Janice, and dang, I don't, uh, I usually get like next to the cheapest. 
<laughs> because I'm just ripping it up and crafting with it. I'm not, you know, when if you're going to use muslin for curtain lining, I did learn it will sag. And so where your hem is, it'll sag and go below your hemline and you'll see that muslin. So if you're using using muslin for curtain lining, you want to up the grade, okay? Um, so yeah, so I just, I don't get the cheapest, but I get the next to the cheapest. Um, slate, oh yeah, if you have slate, like the, you know, it's got a spot of turquoise and then a spot of gray and, a, you know, all the different color patches of slate. Um, use a multi-purpose primer from Sherwin-Williams or all-purpose primer, I can't remember what they call it. It's a blue can latex. <clears throat> Clean it scratch sand it just go like this with a you know with a sanding block just do that just to scratch it up a little bit and then prime it really it's what's underneath it all that matters and then i use that same pro classic semi-gloss um if you're walking on it all the time just you, you just want to watch that people aren't coming in with snow on their shoes or laying their uh laying their umbrella on it and then the water sits there and then when you pick it up it might might let go but we've done a ton of little entries like by sliding doors or doors maybe that are, don't use very often tons of fireplace hearths uh, we paint the brick we paint the actual tile people do tile the slate you can totally paint it um message me because i'm I, this is about chairs but if you are interested message me we can talk about it um you can look back through my videos i have done a ton i'm on youtube at tammy loves you can um look back through my videos and you can see where we've done several i don't do them all because i think you guys would get bored <laughs> but um so yeah totally can do uh, slate message me francine i'm a talker so i'll fill you in oh uh, janice yes okay i'll check it when i'm done here i gotta get to work so i'll check it later later um thanks penny nice to see you here um you just painted your fireplace yay yes give it just a, a little sand i sanded um usually after i finish my chalk whoops sorry i got a phone call just plain chalk paint I, um, I just go right in and wax it, but because this had a little texture to it because the way I was pecking at it, um, I sanded it before I waxed it and it was fine. Uh, okay, good morning, Tammy. Thanks for jumping in there. Hi, Darlene. Thank you for sprinkling. Oh, God bless your soul. Thank you so much. Hey, Shayla, good morning. Good morning, Michelle. Good info, Karen. Good, I'm glad I helped you out. Uh, there's Debbie from Washington and Janet, good morning. Thanks, Pam, you're very welcome. She's thanking me for the good info. Hi, Anna. I'm just looking for any more questions, the bows and strings on the chair. So anybody that might've jumped in, I have, let's see, did I get it all? I didn't get it all painted. I was working on paint, oh, yeah, this is the way. I'm working on painting my, I might as well put it back. Well, I can't put it back up here yet, I wanna show you. I'm working on painting my oak chairs. You can see some, okay? And I was showing them the technique that I was using. I'll come back and finish that in a second. My table was wiggling when I was doing it, so. Um, then I took the spindles and I covered them with muslin shreds. So I showed you how I tore them, right? And then I added a bow on the front because I have this arch thing right here and I don't like that. So I was hoping that that might take your eye away from that little area that I don't like. So anyway, so they're cute from the front and from the back, which I love because when they're pushed up against the table, like right now I'm inside so I can see all of them and I see all these little bows with streamers hanging down. And then when I walk in the room from the kitchen or from my foyer, I see the back with all of the corset sort of look so it's really cool all right let me keep answering questions and then i'll come back and i'll do a little bit more on this chair so you guys can see um can i see what you've done by the way yes Teresa. okay so i just showed you hopefully you're still here to see that um dixie bell that's what they use an heirloom yes i knew there was more yeah you guys try the good stuff that's the good stuff right i mean we all know like they make, a, they make a, a good vodka and a cheap vodka, and they make a good laundry soap and a cheap laundry soap. You all know the differences, right? So when you're getting something for a third of the price, you're losing something, obviously, right? So give it a, give it a whirl. <laughs> try, a, try a good brand um, of paint. Uh, you've never done any chalk painting. Oh, Joyce, you're asking what the process is to do it. You need to sand and have to spend... No, you're wrong. Joyce, that's why you use chalk paint so you don't have all of the work. So like this chair, look, look, let me just show you this. So let me put you back down here. All right, Joyce, let me give you a quickie quick. Okay, so here's my chair. I don't have 
12 o'clock down, but that's all right. Okay, I'm and I'm doing a treatment. So I, if you go back and watch the video, I show you the why chalk paint is fun at the end because the how you can play with it, right? You can do this with any paint. It doesn't have to be a chalk-based paint. So I'm using a dark and a light. Tammy loves beige and a white. Simplicity from chalk, uh, from uh, Country Chic Paint. All right, so I dip my brush into the light and I dip my brush into the dark and then I just play with it a little bit. Then I'm going straight at my chair and tapping. And I move, watch my hand, see that? My brush is facing this way. Now I'm gonna swivel my brush and it's going this way. Then I'm gonna go this way. Then I'm gonna go this way. See that? I'm swiveling, I'm swiveling my whole everything I got, but you get it, all right? And I'm just tap tapping. Again, swiveling, see that? I'm, it's quick, because I'm being quick. But So I'm going this way, then I'm going this way. And see how much coverage I'm getting? I mean, you could, you could go ahead and paint it on. Now I'm using a rattered out, a ratterdy tatterdy brush. I'm using a chip brush. That is not what you would want to use if you were Paint it, yes, I have a good, oh, it looks, let me show you. I have, oh, I have, this is a good country chic chalk paint brush. I've used it a million times, you can see, it's yucky, yucky, but look how together, look at that. So, and I have tons of brushes, if you guys need brushes, this is two inch, I have half inch, one inch, I have all different sizes but they're wonderful and they come in a cardboard sleeve that you string up so after you wash it with soap and water, it just dries and this is what you want, a nice soft, it's very soft bristle, that's what you wanna use. But when I'm doing something like this, the messier the better, okay? So then you just tap, 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 tap. <laughs> I'm just tapping and I'm trying to cover all the surfaces. It took me 45 minutes to do each chair, okay? Just for a heads up, I don't know how far down you guys can see here. But you can, I started to show you, you can do this to get the first coat on, just to get the color on. Very hard to paint some spindles. Um, <coughs> was it Angie or Tammy or Sarah, one of you girls that paints, mentioned about the sponges. And yes, they have sponges that makes um, painting spindles easier. But since I'm kind of doing what they might call a faux finish, a faux treatment, um, this, is, this is what I'm doing. So, um, since I'm doing that, I, I'm not messing with this, with the sponge or the good brushes. I don't want to, I definitely don't want to use a good brush to do this. Cause think your brush, the best part of your brush is the tip, like the very end of it. That's the best part. So this is the last thing you'd want to do with a really good brush. Okay. So anyway, you can see, you guys don't need to sit and watch me peck at my chair all day or for 45 minutes. <laughs> right. So, okay. So that's what I did for whoever was, at, uh, Whoever was asking that, that's what I did. And then, and then let me show you. So I've dried here at the bottom where I said you need another coat. Let me get you in there. Well, of course it's wet. Oh, it's wet because I was messing with it. But see if you can see through it and see little tiny spots where you see through. You painter girls see it. You painter girls see it like that, right? You know what I'm talking about. But it's so consistent that you wouldn't necessarily have to second coat it because it's so even. It's consistently inconsistent. It's, it's messy, but it's even. And so you would not have to second coat. Because I paint, I'm thinking that would probably bug me that I feel like I can see through it. So it's really just the hazard of my job that I paint houses and so I know when it's not done. And that so there's nothing wrong with just leaving one coat. Actually, honestly, I did leave it one coat on all of the legs and spindles is only one coat. Um, where I really had maybe a big miss or a big thin spot I went back and hit. So then I went, so whoever asked me what I'm doing, I took my muslin shreds. Uh, you'll have to watch back. I'll show you how I rip them. It's very easy to rip them. Whoops. So I cut my shreds. I wrap them around my spindles because I have the weirdest spindles. They, they get fat. See, they come out like I have a back and a front. And so I was just like, how can I cover this up? So I did that and I have all of the ties down the backs of the chairs. So if you, if you give my page a follow or a like and you scroll back through here after I get home from work tonight and I get everything all cleaned up, I will um, show you guys what my table looks like. Now the top's not painted yet because I'm not, I haven't quite decided exactly what I wanna do. So it might be a couple weeks before I tackle that. Um, I got a few ideas. I just, I'm just not sure which way I want to go yet. Um, so, okay. And so then the other thing then, Joyce, is that you shouldn't have to prime unless it's a really old piece 
and typically I go ahead and start painting it and then I wait and see if anything's gonna bleed through, wick through. And if it does, then you have to prime it or shellac it to stop it from bleeding, but it probably would have bled with a regular paint anyway, so you would have to do the same thing. So neck and neck were the same, right? But you save that primer coat. If you're gonna use a regular trim paint like the Sherwin-Williams Pro Classic Semi-Gloss, then you have to prime it. You have to prime it because it doesn't have the minerals and the clay and whatever it takes to grab that piece of wood or metal or whatever you're painting, right? So that's the difference. That's why chalk paint is easier. I, you can tell I didn't prime that chair. I just picked it up and started painting. That's the beauty of the chalk paint. So it does save you in the end. Um, if you want it to be shiny, um, we have a wax product and you do go in and you rub some wax on it and you wipe it off like you're waxing a car. So, um, but you can leave it just done. What are we talking about? Amy, oh, Amy, Amy. <laughs> Talking about my ugly chairs, my really ugly chairs. <laughs> no sewing, but I'm using some fabric and I'm making my chairs look prettier. Um, so I added fabric to my ugly oak chairs. <laughs> oh, good morning, Melody. Yeah, Amy, if you follow me, you just know I'm all over the place because I'm that's my creative mind going every which way. Hey, Randy, good morning. Thank you. There's Gloria. <coughs> Just hit the follow. Thanks, girlfriend. Hi, I'd love to have a new BFF and you're it today. Uh, Amy, good. Okay, good. She got it. Okay, good. Melody, thank you, Melody. Good morning, Darlene. Cute and sassy from the front and the back. There you go, girl. That's exactly what I was going for, Michelle. Good morning, Deb. Good morning. Uh, thank you. Can't wait to try. Good, Teresa. Good for you. Go, girl. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, Terry, fun. Yeah. Crazies and more like it. Um, you can see the variations. Good, Michelle. Good, good, good. Oh, good. Uh, I'm not gonna stencil it, Michelle. No, I, I need to get with my friend Donna Dotson. Um, she kind of has the style that I like, and I kind of it's. Oh, it's a mess. I hate to show you guys. It's a mess. This is embarrassing. Oh, where's my table? That's what it looks like. It's this. I've got drop cloths and stuff, but um, it's just that finish. And I'm kind of thinking about making it, um, <clears throat> making it look like wood boards is kind of where I was thinking. Um, and I know Donna would, I, I mean, I'm thinking I would start down the middle with a, with a chalk line and tape it, tape the width of my board, right? And just work on what would be one board, right? And then pull that off, let it dry, and then do the next board kind of where I'm going and I'm thinking because I have like I have dark furniture in here I have a black uh, I have a black table here that I did and then I have this big dark there it is big dark cabinet here oh beside my light um I, I kind of want to bring some darkness into the top because it's so shabby chic girly I kind of want to rustic it up a little bit which is my thing I love mixing and I know Donna will get that so I'm gonna give it a whirl on my own, but I might, I might reach out to her and say, can you give me any advice? We'll see, we'll see. I think I can figure it out. Uh, but no, I'm not gonna stencil. Um, well, Sue. Uh, oh, I thought you were asking about me. So this is a thing. Anyone that follows me knows. I've been begging my husband to let me paint my kitchen cabinets. They're out there. <laughs> I can't see what you guys can see, but they're, them and he wouldn't let me paint my mantle he wouldn't let me paint my cabinets and then the other night just out of the blue we were talking about it and I said something about sure wish I could paint my mantle I know I don't want to start an argument I'm just saying it and he's like you know what if you want to paint that mantle paint it I hate it it's too small if you want to paint it paint it I was like oh my gosh the very next day I'm like on it and I'm out here and showing you guys and you guys couldn't believe it we were all falling over that my husband said do it <coughs> so he was out of town comes in town, he saw the video, you know, liked it and everything, comes in, likes it, and he says, I know, now you're gonna be hitting me up for those kitchen cabinets. And I'm like, yeah, I'd love to paint the kitchen cabinets. He's like, well, I just don't know, I just don't know. It probably would look nice. I'm like, I stayed really calm. You guys would have been proud. So I'm like, okay, you know, whenever, 
if you ever want me to do it, I'll be happy to do it, right? And just backed right out of that conversation. That was my first little ray of hope. So, <clears throat> Sue, there's a chance for me to paint mine. But what you're asking is what you use, which um, you want to clean them with TSP. I'll do this real quick. Clean them with TSP, which is trisodium phosphate, which comes in powder or liquid. I like to get the liquid because it's easier, but either way, um, wipe, just wash it like you're washing it. Just wash it. Um, you can use something called a deglosser if you can't find TSP, and that just takes the shine away, makes it a little grabbier for the primer. Then you want to use an all-purpose primer, and then you want to use, um, I love Sherman-Williams Pro Classic Semi-Gloss in any color. We usually use white right off of the shelf. Um, I'm loving a color called Pure White. Is it Pure White or True White? I think it's Pure White. That's what I did my mantle in. I love Love it, love it. So anyway, uh, and then you don't have to seal it. Don't do anything else, you're done. Pay two coats, three if you need it, and you're done. Um, <clears throat> I recommend taking them apart. Here's another quick tip. If you're gonna paint your cabinets, you guys, the best tip I can give you besides all the other things I just said, put a number on your cabinet door and on the opening, one, one. So when you take it off to paint it, you have a puzzle and you're like, oh, this Okay, I'm back. Shoot, I'm so sorry, you guys. I lost you. Okay, coming back. I'm in my office. Oh my gosh, you're seeing my mess now for real. I don't know how many people stuck with me, but it's probably going to do this again. My internet is just terrible. Um, so, oh, hey, there's Donna Dawson. She was on here. She's probably gone now. Um, uh, where are you from? I'm from Ohio. Uh, oh, Don uh, thank you, Donna. Another Donna. <laughs> Thanks, Donna. Donna. <laughs> Uh, you're new. Love what I do. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Roxy. Look back. I did lots of neat things. You like the wood boards? Yeah, Michelle. That's what I'm thinking about. Um, she has to work on the chairs all the time. What color would I paint my kitchen cabinets? Uh, I would probably go with that pure white from Sherman Williams. Love it. Love it. Um, it's either, I think it's pure white. Pure white or true white, whatever. You're still here. Oh, bless your heart. You're still here. Hey, Donna's here. Oh my gosh. Okay, Donna the the best painter ever I need to get when <laughs> I got a couple things I want to find your when you painted your glass I want to find that you did the orangish peachy gold and I think you did a turquoise I want to find those videos number one and number two ask so I've been meaning to look for those if you got an easy maybe you want to reshare an old thing because I love those and I want to try that um <clears throat> I've never forgot about it she likes it. I see her like it. Okay. And um, the other thing is about painting the boards. And I don't know if you were here to hear me say that, but I think I want to take my flat oak tablecloth or tabletop. <clears throat> and I'm thinking about going down the middle. Well, not down the middle, but on find the middle and then go out however many boards I want. So here's my middle and then tape out. I'm thinking maybe four inches. I don't know. Um, and then I tape either side and then I just work on that one board and then do the next and then the next. That's what I'm thinking about doing. I could do every other one. Like I could measure it out and chalk it um, to mark it and then I could tape every other board and so I could do maybe three boards and then pull that tape when it dries and then tape the opposite. And only Donna and I know what I'm talking about here probably. But um, Donna, that's what I'm thinking. So tell me if you think I'm crazy. <laughs> But I'm thinking the two colors that I used and then adding in a really dark brown. Um, ours is called, uh, uh, what's it called? Chocolate tart or cho something chocolate. But cho like a chocolate brown. Dark, dark, like a black coffee is what it would look like. So, okay. Now I'm not getting any more messages here. So maybe no one else is messaging. So I'm going to fly. I'm so embarrassed you guys are going to see. <laughs> Let me at least turn, maybe I'll turn you here. There, that looks a little prettier. <laughs> at my desk so okay and I'm telling you my router is right here if I can't pick up I'll call you I don't have your number can you message me your number I might have your number <clears throat> dang I'm gonna get Donna's number oh I can call you through messenger you don't even have to share it I can call you through messenger I will I'm just thinking it through 
and I keep going back to that idea. Of course, I can stencil and I, you know, and I was just gonna dry brush all of the colors. I was thinking, actually, here's another thought I had, is taking a, a stain um, and, and stain, like it would probably have to be a gel stain because it's finished. I know I can scratch it up, but I was thinking maybe taking a dark stain and then taking paint I saw uh, a girl on uh, Instagram. I love my Instagram peeps a lot, um, but it's a vintage porch, Natalie at Vintage Porch. And she took then like a white paint and went into the wet stain. And so she was mixing paint and stain. So obviously it would have to be a chalk paint, I would think. Um, but it looked really cool and it looked really varnish and, but it didn't have the boards. So I kind of like that idea too. And then I thought, well, maybe I could do that overall. And if I, if I like it, I could leave it for a while and then I could come back in and add boards to change it up. Cause I always have to change, I have to change things. So um, I'm thinking about that too. So I guess I just want to have like a soul uh, painter person to say, what do you think? And I know, I know all the things. It's just so many options. And here's the thing. When you're picking out a sofa for yourself, when you're picking out wall color for yourself, when you're doing anything for yourself, it's so much harder than if you're helping someone else. If someone says, what do you think I ought to fix the kids for dinner? Like, do you have 15 things that come to your mind like really fast, right? But when you're thinking, what am I gonna make for dinner? Well, <laughs> yeah, it's so much, you can't think, right? So I can tell you that, that I know, I know, you beat yourself up when you're doing something for yourself because you know all of the options and you know your choices and you know your abilities and what you can and can't do. And so it's just hard to zoom in on that one thing. So um, just like painting my chairs, I mean, I had a million options and I think I'm gonna do what Donna does too. Again, I'm gonna wait for a while and get used to them, but not get used to them, but I mean, get tired of them, have them for a while. And then I'm gonna add the gold, um, gold leaf around the little bottoms of them. I'm gonna add that, but not now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna love them for a while. Um, give me a year or so when I'm sick of it, then I'm gonna add the gold <clears throat> at, the, at each leg. I know I'm doing that. And wouldn't that be cool to have like all this shabby chic and then this fancy gold and then the barn top? Like cool, right? It's different. That's what I love. And I think that's why you guys follow me because I do different, like different things. Like, like for instance, who has a hard hat and a ladder in their office, right? Well, me and I love it. <laughs> so, and a suitcase. How about that? I got a suitcase in here. Like see, where is it? Can you see? Oh, there it is. There you go right? I love all kinds of weird things. So if you like weird things, you like weird ideas, <laughs> stick with me, girls. I'll show you the way. <laughs> I'll show you the way to be weird. <laughs> okay, let me see. I got to get to work. Let's see. Who else is saying anything? Painting is the easiest to change. Yes. Oh, Sue, well, thank you for scrolling this morning. Absolutely. Uh, love all the info. Oh, acetone on your table. Oh my gosh, my kids, I have two girls, so you know I've had that happen here too. Uh, Gloria and um, yeah, and actually the one girl, here's, here's a positive note. The one girl ended up, uh, grew up, opened her own nail salon and does amazing things with um, doing fingernails here locally. So anyway, you know, there's always hope for that uh, accidental acetone. Something positive might come out of that. But yeah, you'll probably have to paint it or strip it down. Uh, oh, good, Melody. Well, absolutely. Stick with me. Dawn, I love yours right back. Thank you. Uh, I'm a pip. Well, Stacy, I'm hoping that's a good thing to be. <laughs> so um, you just want to see. What do you want to see? What do you want to see, Tracy, before I jump off? Yes, Liz, I do have a lot of crazy, um, crazy ideas. So you love the suitcase? Oh, Bonnie, thank you. There's my friend. I love, I love her text. See how big all the lettering is? I don't need my, need my glasses. <laughs> um, you saw my girls. Oh, Tracy, thank you. Oh, wow, Brandy. Well, you're awesome too. I'm glad you caught me. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, I hate to leave with probably a record number of watchers. Um, you guys must really all hate your chairs as much as I do. Let me give you a quick one last time for anybody that might have jumped on in the last second. I have these. You can barely see now. Um, where can you see? Probably you can kind of get little hints still of the oak. Um, I had oak chairs going straight at it with our country chic 
chalk based paint. I'm using two colors at the same time. One's called Tammy Loves Beige. One's just a white called Simplicity. Let me put it up here so you can, ugh, you can't see. <clears throat> so, whoops, I'm trying to make you see. So I'm dapping into the white, dapping into the dark, and then dapping it all together. And then I'm going at it. I'm just going at it with a yucky, funky chip brush, right? And I'm thinking it was Donna Dotson that said she throws them out and I don't know anybody that would wash out a chip brush. Me, <laughs> but you know why? Because I used to have classes and I'd have 20 girls a night. So I couldn't keep buying all the chip brushes and the more ratted out they are, kind of the better they are. So, you know, there's that. And they're stinking easy to wash out. Why wouldn't you? So why wouldn't you? I'm calling you out, Donna. Calling you out. <laughs> okay, so that's all I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of brushing that. I didn't mean to be. I'm tap, tapping. Tap, 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 tap. Okay? Tap, tap. All right. So then, so that helped my ugly oak chairs, correct? But I took it two steps further. So the next step I did was I wrapped muslin shreds and I tied them on the back. See that? So they look like a corset, everyone's saying. And then I wrapped a bow and hung it from the front so that they're cute from the front and from the back. So when you sit here and you look at my table, which I would show you, but I have craft stuff piled. You guys know I have my vintage group. Well, most of you know I have my uh, online group. So I have stuff piled up there for those girls. But see, don't look at my mess back there. <laughs> I'll tip you down. See how pretty it is from the inside of the table, all the bows, like so cute. And then let me take you over here. So then when you come over here, whoops, and you're looking, like please don't look at my mess, just look at my chairs. <laughs> just look at the chairs. See how cute they are? And then you're seeing the ones across and they're cute from that too, with the bows. And I don't think you'll, I don't think those bows will, um, I don't think those bows will bother you at all standing uh, or when you sit on them. I don't think, I don't think you'll lean back. Like you'd have to really like lean your head back. I don't, and that's not going to hurt you even if you do. So anyway, you guys, I got to go. I got to get to work. I got some kitchen cabinets. Uh, we're painting, we're finishing an office, foyer, living room, dining room. We're, we're finishing it today, starting uh, some apartments tomorrow. So, or Monday, Monday. <clears throat> so we're back to busy. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. It's been fun. It's been fun. It's nice to meet all you new people. Hang out with me. Come back and see me again. And, and don't get too disappointed in me though. I don't like, I sell real estate and paint houses and we're super busy, but I love crafting. So when I get a minute to craft, I'm either on here with you guys or I'm in my uh, group. I have a little paid group. It's 15 bucks a month. And so I take all of the stuff there, but I always show you guys whatever we're making. So once it's made, I always share. So anyway, um, that's what I'm doing. So sometimes you see me a couple times in a week or you might see me every day and then you might not hear from me for a week or two because I'm busy <laughs> like you. And you figure if you had to like, you guys think about it, put yourself in these People like me that go live all the time, like these girls that do these big crafts every day, all day long, like what else do they do? It takes a lot of time to figure out what you're doing and then get all your stuff together and then get it all laid out and then figure out what you're going to say and make sure, you know, it all goes smooth and all that. It's a lot. So I don't do it every day because that's too much. But some days I get on a roll though and I do. So you just never know when I'm going to be here, but um, don't leave me. No, I'll be here eventually. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll try to bring you good stuff. So thank you for the hearts. I don't think I've ever had this many hearts in a video ever. Now you watch, I'll come on again in the morning and I'll get nothing. Nobody will be there. You can't predict it. So I'm, I appreciate all of you so much. I appreciate you um, taking the time with me this morning. I'm so glad you like my chairs. Yay. And I will, I will post before and after pictures for you, um, but I won't do it until I get home tonight. I gotta finish that chair. I think I'm gonna stay here. I couldn't finish with you guys because the table's wiggling, uh, but I'm gonna get that chair done so when I come home, I'll be able to tie all the ties and get you guys a picture, so. Okay, all right, see you later. Thanks for watching. Nice to meet all of you new people. Bye. Oh, I love those hearts. I hate to go away when I get hearts. Like, can I just sit and watch the hearts? I wish I could screenshot hearts. <laughs> Just so I can send it to a couple people and say, hey, see, I get hearts too. <laughs>
because <laughs> I never get hearts. So thank you guys. I appreciate all, all of you. <clears throat> Have a good day, Donna. Happy Friday. I will reach out to you. Not now. I got to get to work. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>